Cole. My name's Corey, mate. Um, just wanting to know how the week's been and, and what's been the, the message to the players in, in trying to, to turn things around. Um, turn things around? Turn, what do you mean, turn oh, yeah, things around? Uh, you know, you know the, the, the loss. Um, you know, you obviously want to get back on the, on the winners list and it's uh, pretty correct. Yeah, look, it's, um, you know, no message um, has changed. We still go about the same things that we've been doing all season. Um, you know, you have your ups and downs over the course of the season and, um, you know, it was disappointing last week, but, um, you know, the boys fought hard, you know, going down to 10 men, such an early stage. Um, so it was disappointing that we didn't come away with something, you know, the, the fight that the boys showed. Um, but that's football. Um, you know, we move on. we got a big game this week, um, tomorrow night, you know. Our main rivals uh, pretty much from, you know, day one. So it's a big game for, for the supporters uh, and a big game for the, the players as well. You know, Issa's playing his 200th game tomorrow, which is um, very, he's been a very important player for the club over the years. So it's, um, it's also important that, you know, we um, go out and put a, in a good performance, not just for the fans, but for Issa as well. How important is it to, to hit your straps at this time of the year heading into, into final? Yeah, look, it's still, you know, as I said, you know, we've got six games left. Five of them for us are at home, so that's a, a positive. But, um, you know, this run into the end of the season is going to be difficult, not just for, for us, it's going to be difficult for all the clubs. Um, a lot of the teams have a lot of games to catch up and, you know, with players coming in, in and out with COVID, it, it's, um, you know, it's been a, a tricky season and it's only going to get trickier towards the end of the season, I think. Does uh, this original rivalry mean a bit more with the top six? placings at the moment and, and you and Victory being very close on the tables or? Um, no, look, I think they're always important games. It doesn't matter where the teams are. It doesn't matter um, what form you're going into these type of games. It's a, it's a huge game um, and it's important that um, we go out there and, and play the football that we want to play and, and put in a good effort and hopefully we can get the points. And it's a 200 games this week. You appointed Craig Goodwin as the captain when, when Stefan left. Did you consider reappointing Issa? Because obviously when he had the previous step, he was captain, did, did that come into your thinking? Yeah, look, Issa's, um, you know, even though he's not the captain, he's certainly a big part of the leadership team in the, in the team. Um, you know, all the Spanish boys have a, a huge role that they play in the team. Um, Goody as well, you know, all our senior players, um, Kits as well, you know, they all provide a, a lot of leadership in the group. Um, you know, we have a a lot of younger players in our in our group that are, are learning the game and it's important that we have um, people like Yissa and, and, and Goody that show them um, the way to, to go about the game correctly. I imagine Stephen Hall will uh, start on Saturday and he did really well uh, for the up to 50 minutes anyway until, until the Mariners got the goal on the weekend. How's he been uh, going training this week and, and what's How's he feeling going to the game? Yeah, look, Stephen is, um, you know, you said he's come in a couple of times this year for us. For a 17-year-old kid, it's um, it's exciting for him, you know, especially, uh, you know, he's a South Australian boy that's grown up watching the club and supporting the club. Um, and so he knows how important this game is as well. He's, you know, watched many of them over, over, the, over the journey. So um, it's important that we just let him go out and play. You know, he's a young kid. He's a goalkeeper playing in a in a big game, um, you know, so I'm sure they will try and put pressure on him um, early. So, you know, Stephen is a very relaxed kid um, and we, we saw that with his performance last week. How disappointed were you, Carl, in Joe and in the incident, the red card? And what sort of messaging have you had with him? Oh, look, it's, it's football, isn't it? You know, you make decisions and um, you don't always get your decisions right. And, you know, when we look back on it, you know, it's easier to say, well, you should have done this. But um, in the moment, he made his decision and, and you know he, we we live with it as a team, and unfortunately he he got it wrong. Um, <clears throat> you know, the, at the time the referee thought it was yellow, and and VR intervened and said it was a red. So um, you know, unfortunately for us, it was um, you know a telling point in the game. Is it a fine line? I guess you want your keeper to to assert their authority and, and stuff, but you, you obviously don't want them to cross that line. So is, it, is there a fine line that you're playing with there? Oh, look, it's just all, all the positioning. You want the goalkeeper to play in behind your defence, um, especially against teams that play a lot of long balls, to try and um, sweep in behind the defence. And, and it was just a decision, you know, Joey, you know, his position was good, but then he um, made a, he, he came to the ball instead of protecting the goal. So, you know, he's a young goalkeeper still as well. So he's still learning his craft and he'll be making mistakes. He'll, um, but 
long as he learns from him and, and, and corrects his game. And, and I'm, Joe's done that this year. He's been tremendous for us. Um, you know, I'm sure he, you know, felt um, bad for it, but that's, you know, part of football. You know, we all make mistakes, so we, we move on. We learn from him and move on. And uh, victory won two games here already this season, uh, but they were tight. Yeah, we know what we're going to get from um, Popper's teams. You know, they're defensively very strong and very good on the um, tr in transition on the counter attack. So it's important that we, um, you know, recognise that. And you know, as I said it's about us playing our football. We are we're aware of their strengths. You know, they've got some very good players up front. Um, so it's important that we try to limit the service to their front players. And how's uh, Damien obviously taking up that interim assistant role uh, to the end of the season? How's he finding things at the moment? Obviously juggling that uh, with, the, with the role at Beer Grade as well. Yeah, look, he, you know, he's taking a little bit of, you know, we're giving him a little bit of time to, to understand the playing group here, understand the playing style as well. Um, but I've known Damien for a long time. Um, he's a great football person, has great football knowledge, and, you know, he'll pass that on to the players. Have you enjoyed maybe reliving swapping some stories back from the, from the Adelaide City days? <laughs> Yeah, no, we're, we're in the, you know, that's a long time ago. We both don't um, remember a lot of those times. Um, we're, we're a bit too old now. Just on the injury front, are the boys looking at Hiroshi as well? Who's overcome his bout with COVID? Yeah, Hiroshi's back. You know, um, he didn't really have any effects from COVID, so, you know, he will slot back into the team. Um, and then the, you know, it's just still the sort of a few injuries. Um, soft tissue injuries that are just one or two weeks, so we'll, we'll manage them, see how they pull up tomorrow, give a lot of these players a little bit more time.